You're watching Tag. India is well known around the world owing to its historical background, diverse cultures and interesting traditions. Its ancient scriptures and texts have been the way of life of its people for thousands of years. Today, the country is taking huge strides in the field of science and technology, paving a way towards a progressive India. So friends, I am your host Shreya Savijay and today in our episode of My India, We'll take a look at some of the stories that very well showcase the unique culture and prosperity of our country stretching from Himalayas to Kanyakumari. Many NGOs are working towards empowering rural women in India by helping them upgrade their skills and promoting their products, especially embroidery and handicrafts. The Ozi Heart Mela recently organized by the Australian High Commission in the national capital provided the women a perfect platform to showcase their products. We have a report. Handmade embroidery, handicrafts and handloom products from India are popular across the world. A large number of women today are engaged in weaving and craft work which is a major source of livelihood for them. The Ozi Hat Mela, which aims at making women self-reliant, brought together various NGOs in New Delhi, where they showcased handmade products made by rural women. All through the year, we work with a number of NGO partners to support them, to uh, support the development of communities around India. And so once a year, in a, as a way of also supporting them further, we hold a mela here on the lawns of my residence. And uh, we allow them the space to be able to, you know, explain to people what they do, but also to sell some of the craft work that they, that they do. So it's a way of allowing them to raise funds for the very valuable work they do. celebrated under the theme Women's Empowerment, the Mela aims to support NGOs who work with marginalized or underprivileged communities at grassroots to improve the livelihood opportunities for women. Many visitors attended the fair and purchased products made by rural women and the profit raised in the day-long fair went directly to the NGOs who participated in the event. We are coming here for many years now. This is uh, this is an amazing festival. Every year before Christmas, they organize this, and uh, the best part is that a lot of NGOs uh, put up their stalls. You get to see them and very uh, um, good products for the kids and uh, handmade, recycled, reused. Those products you said it's a very good uh, place to get the kids, get them exposure. It's good sun, sand, good food. So it's a good time. Initiatives like these help in providing a market and a platform to women to showcase their skills and make some money. They also help them become better equipped to make life-determining decisions for themselves and their families. India is a country of multi-ethnic cultures where people belonging to different religious, racial, cultural and lingual identities live together harmoniously. Indian society can also be regarded as the hallmark of communal peace and harmony. Upholding these ethics of Indian society, a Brahmin professor has been teaching Urdu, the language of Islam in Bareilly College of Uttar Pradesh for more than a decade. Let's take a look. India is the largest multicultural and the most linguistically diversified country in the world. In every 200 kilometers, 
a new dialect or a language could be heard spoken between the people over the years these languages have also become the binding force between different religions practiced in the indian society shavya tripathi a urdu language professor at bareilly college in uttar pradesh is the product of this culturally and religiously vibrant community although she belongs to a brahmin family shavya tripathi chose urdu language over sanskrit as her subject of interest during her school days and went on to become a learned professor in the subject bachpan se hi maine urdu padhi फिर पढ़ते पढ़ते उर्दू से लगाव हो गया सरकारी स्कूल में पढ़ाई की जहाँ विकल्प के तौर पर संस्कृत या उर्दू में से एक का चयन करना होता है और बस उर्दू के साथ यात्रा मेरी जारी रही कंटिन्यू रही और अच्छा परफॉर्मेंस रहा उसमें अपने शिक्षकों का की प्रेरणा मिली और उर्दू को मैंने करियर के तौर पर अपनाया उससे अपने शव्य त्रिपाठी वॉज अपॉइंटेड एज अ प्रोफेसर ऑफ उर्दू लैंग्वेज at the eminent bareilly college in uttar pradesh in 2008 and since then she has been teaching all the nuances and intricacies involved in learning urdu language to her students hum ek dusre se jab tabadle ka khayal karte hain to aisa lagta hai ki hum jitna jante hain usse kahin matlab keh lijiye ki behtar taur par wo usko janne ki koshish kar rahi hain aur usko bachcho tak matlab pahuncha rahi hain इसलिए मुझे कहीं भी शैबिया त्रिपाठी जी के साथ के वो ब्राह्मण परिवार से हैं या कोई ऐसी परिवार से हैं कि उर्दू पढ़ाने में या उर्दू को जानने में उनको कहीं इस तरह की कहीं रुकावट महसूस नहीं होती और न कहीं कोई बच्चा या हम लोग खुद इस के तौर पर उनके अंदर कोई कमी पाते दीपल लाइक शव्या त्रिपाठी आर दी फ्लैग बियर ऑफ कैमराजरी एंड ब्रदरहुड बिटवीन दी डाइवर्स रिलीजियस कम्युनिटीज living in harmony across the length and breadth of our country now a round up of some of the major stories that made news recently a group of classical art performers from indonesia presented a musical dance drama in india's southeastern bhuvneshwar city at the celebration marking 70 years of diplomatic relations between the two countries and this is part of uh, uh, the diplomatic uh, relationship uh, celebration between indonesia and india for 70 years so uh, this is uh, indicate that uh, the relationship between Indonesia and India uh, getting uh, increased Balinese the dance that was performed is an ancient art form of Bali and the dancers wore a golden headgear colorful costumes and sometimes use a fan as a prop Oh we are feeling great we are feeling so happy so enthusiastic and oh yeah this spectacular uh, evening or event spectacular event for us so we are very happy and we hope that uh, we are invited again maybe next year the performance was based on the stories of hindu religious epic ramayana that tells the story of hindu god prince rama his wedding to the princess of janakpuri sita his exile with his brother triggered by his step mother and his battle with demon king ravana who abducted sita india and indonesia share two millennia of cultural and commercial ties especially with india's eastern coastal cities The US space exploration entity National Aeronautics and Space Administration NASA has revealed that an Indian engineer Shanmuga Subramanian had identified the debris of Vikram lander from India's ambitious moon mission Chandrayaan 2. Vikram was expected to land at a highland smooth plain near the South Pole but the Indian Space Research Organisation ISRO lost contact just a few minutes before the expected touchdown. Subramanian spotted the debris by comparing the pictures clicked by NASA's the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter camera before and after the expected landing date. 
NASA publicized this image on their blog on uh, uh, September 17. So after looking at NASA's blog and NASA's statement, they are not able to find it because it's hidden in shadows. I downloaded that 1.5 GB of image to my system, and I compared it side by side with the both old and new images of LRO. And I was able to find something that was out of ordinary in a particular spot. So I thought this might be the debris because it's something that's not there, that has not been seen in the previous images, whatever I have seen. The picture shows an impact crater, ray and debris field spread around significant distance. Earlier, NASA had released the after landing images and had said that Vikram lander could not be found as it was believed to be hidden in the shadows. Moving on, with rapid economic development, the lifestyles of people have also graduated. To fulfill the demands of rich lifestyles for the people in Malaysia, Japanese companies have brought system kitchen for their many customers. On the other hand, another Japanese food company, Ajinomoto, is contributing to safe and tasty meal for school children in Indonesia. We have a report. The number of rich people in Malaysia is increasing with rapid economic development. Huge high-rise condominiums are being constructed in town of Kuala Lumpur. In residential rooms, system kitchen of Japanese style is installed for people who want luxury. Most of condominiums are installed with system kitchen produced by Rinai, which is a Japanese company known as total manufacturer of kitchen utensils. As a purchaser of Irama Wangsa, you'll be given a Rinai burner as well as an exhaust. So this is a LPG system with all the safety built in. So you don't have to worry about your cooking and things like that. So it will be very easy for your, for your stay here. Renai is a premium household brand trusted for its safety and durable quality besides specializing in board gas and electric built-in kitchen appliances such as Hope, Hood, Oven, Microwave Oven and Water Heaters. In showroom, Japanese-style system kitchen is displayed. All of them have the latest technology such as stainless steel items, high ecological, silent sink and more. We have a lot of satisfied customers using our product. And being from Japan, our technology has uh, grown over the years. Uh, until today, we, have, we are able to uh, come up with uh, many innovative products. Notably, uh, steel cooking product, uh, which uses gas. And uh, we have also developed a lot of electric product to complement with uh, what, what we are good at. Well, over the years, uh, as I said, we are specializing in uh, gas cooking product. Uh, we have developed over the years from tabletop stove to uh, uh, innovative hops, uh, such as our uh, established uh, well-known inner flame burner from Japan uh, and also lotus burner from Taiwan. Uh, we have penetrated not only the residential market but we are also well received in the project supply. A lot of uh, development, property development are using our product as well. Renai System Kitchen has the latest technology having convenient and safe usability as per Japanese lifestyle. Kitchen utensils used in the condominium are the symbol of economic status that will be recognized by Malaysian people and can further contribute to rich lifestyles in the world. One of the social issues in Indonesia is children's malnutrition. An unbalanced eating habit causes problems like anemia, etc. In this issue, the project SLP School Lunch Project has been put into practice to improve children's food lifestyle and keep them healthy. The attention is paid to the school lunch that children eat every day. Ajinomoto, a seasoning company, is a participant in this project.
Ajinomoto Indonesia develops and sells seasoning specialized in Indonesian cooking. It is an essential seasoning for the Indonesian people. Sekolah program adalah program kerjasama PTA dan IPB yang dalamnya terdapat kegiatan pemberian pendidikan terkait dengan gizi dan juga pola hidup bersih dan juga pemberian makan siang yang bergizi dan seimbang. Untuk edukasi, sasarannya tidak hanya pada murid, tetapi juga terhadap guru dan pengelola sekolah. Sedangkan untuk pemberian makan siang, sasarannya adalah murid-murid remaja dengan usia 13 sampai dengan 18 tahun yang tinggal di asrama dengan tujuan untuk memperbaiki asupan gizi. Daru Fala, a school that goes from elementary school to high school. In school lunch project, junior high school and high school students live in a dormitory away from parents. Ajinomoto offers products such as masako, sajiku, and sori, and develops menus which are suitable for students. With the cooperation of the school, all the students enjoy eating well-balanced, healthy lunches, and learn about nutritional facts and correct eating habits at the same time. Penggunaan bumbu Ajinomoto sangat membantu karena makanan menjadi lebih lezat, menarik, dan bervariasi. Sehingga santri lebih menyukai makanan yang disediakan dan makan lebih banyak. Selain itu, dengan bumbu Ajinomoto, proses memasak menjadi lebih praktis. During the project, school lunch provides students with a balanced food nutrition. The seasonings of school lunch use product of Ajinomoto. Students feel the same taste in their food as they find at their homes. Selama saya mengikuti kegiatan SLP, saya banyak belajar mengenai gizi dan kesehatan. Saya jadi lebih tahu tentang manfaat dari berbagai makanan, dampak dari kekurangan, dan kelebihan zat gizi. Bagaimana pola makan yang baik, saya jadi tahu bahwa dulu makanan yang biasanya saya makan tidak bergizi seimbang. The products of Ajinomoto that make the taste of food as children find at their hometown continue to contribute towards the health and happiness of Indonesian families. India has always been a land of great saints, assimilating in its fold various cultures and thoughts from time to time. It is a land where Sufism has not only flourished in its true spirit, but has also become a way of integrating different religious communities. A glimpse of it can be witnessed in different Sufi shrines of our country. So, today we take you to Asar e Sharif in Karnataka that has remained pious site for different religious communities for generations. Take a look. Located in the Hubli district of Karnataka, the Asar e Sharif is one among the most revered shrines in the country. Every year on the occasion of Eid ul Nabi, lakhs of visitors throng Asari Sharif to take a glimpse of a holy hair of Prophet Muhammad Pagamba, the founder of Islam. Not just Muslims but devotees from all other religious communities come to visit the spectacular show put up in Old Hubli district. Hindu बहनों का ये यकीदा है कि यहां पर आने के बाद हमारी जो भी मुराद है हमारी जो भी तमन्ना है हमारी पूरी होती है करके उन लोगों का भी यकीन है कि चाहे हिंदू हो चाहे मुसलमान हो यहां पर आप कल आकर देखेंगे कि लेडीज का इसमें तो कसीर 30% हिंदू मिलके हिंदू और मुस्लिम मिलके ईद को मनाते हैं और अल्लाह के रसूल साहब सिर्फ मुसलमानों के नहीं है पूरे दुनिया के लिए वो रहमतुल्लाह अलमीन बन के आए हैं और पूरे रहमत पूरी दुनिया के लिए वो रहमतुल्लाह अलमीन बन के हिंदू हो मुसलमान हो सिख हो ईसाई हो सब के लिए भी वो रहमतुल्लाह अलमीन है सब के भी रसूल हैं ये सब का ईमान है सब मिल के सब मिलजुल कर ये ईद मनाते हैं द सारे शरीफ वाज कंस्ट्रक्टेड बाय मोहम्मद आदिल शाह इन 1646 where two hair strands of Prophet Muhammad are enshrined in a casket. As a mark of respect to Muslim community and their faith, Maratha warriors who later ruled the city too allowed the Islamic traditions to continue in Hubli district. यहाँ पर हिंदू और मुसलमान दोनों में आते हैं और सबसे पहली बात बड़ी बात ये है कि हर जुमा 
यानी फ्राइडे के रोज़ हम सलात सलाम पढ़ाया जाता है यहाँ पर और जुमे रात के रोज़ फातिया खानी होती है हाँ हर तरह के लोग आते हैं हाँ यहाँ पर ना हिंदू है ना मुसलमान है सब कुछ हर धर्म का आदमी यहाँ पर मौजूद होता है The message of peace and brotherhood come out loud from the holy places like Asare Sharif. Today in spite of changing political scenarios these places continue to promote peaceful coexistence among different religious communities present in India. India has been blessed with some of the brightest minds in the world who have made their mark in all walks of life. A 12 year old boy from Manipur who is about to appear for his class 10 board exams may just be another such person from the country. Take a look. Isaac Paula Lungmuan Waiphai from Chura Chandpur village in Manipur has been granted special permission by the authorities to sit for class 10 board exams. He will take the exams next year. I want to show to to our nation and the world that Manipur is not underdeveloped and it can produce even if it is underdeveloped it can produce great people like me I'm confident enough what made you think so because I've been studying hard recently mm. and that is why i think i will manage it isaac completed his 8th grade from mount olive school which is owned by his father genkholian waiphai isaac was 11 years old and was studying in grade 9 when his father sought permission to allow him to appear for the board exams but as per the rules the application was rejected or any one way to loina by hat door adu digi masa angang macha adu karim ta khang oidra hai ga khang badu da exam to final ekono hafili exam to han bamatam da रिंग उन्न तादी कहोद क्लास थ्री तम चीद क्लास अनी एग बी से चीजेंटी which proved that his iq was much higher than children of his age and as his iq was 141 he was granted permission to take the exams the test was conducted by the department of clinical psychology rims imphal it proved that isaac's mental age was 17 years 5 months his basal age was 14 years while his terminal age is 22 years they are regarding his performance it is quite appreciable because since his childhood he has this ability of uh, creativity so to say and in terms of examination and all also he has uh, performed excellently Isaac's family had to cross a lot of hurdles to ensure that he could appear for the class 10 board exams. They now hope that the authorities will provide the required support so that Isaac can excel in whatever he wants to do. That's all we have for you this week. Your comments and suggestions are important to us. Do give us your feedback at myindia at anin dot com. I'm your host Shreya Savage, and it's goodbye from the entire production team. You're watching Tay.